and we're going to do a little review because we're going to be using this this week. Wiggle. Wiggle. So, <laughs> I found this at the store. Makes I, me think of that guy, uh, Jason Derulo. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's got a song called Wiggle. What are you going to do with the big fat butt? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 50 bucks for this bottle is what I paid. Yeah, I was going to say, we don't have to Google the price because it's I left on it on there. Thing. Yep. You're so smart. Well, that's a mask. This is a mask. You yeah, you can't, get, you can't get a new hand. As far as I know, you can't yeah. get... I've never seen this. So New Hampshire is funny because they regulate all the... I mean, New yeah. Hampshire does all the liquor sales, so if they're they don't the buy it, you can't get right. it. They're the gatekeeper. And so you got to go across master. the border. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I, I went across the border yeah. where it's more expensive. And there's and it's really weird. You got it. All right. I did. Of course I did. I know. I don't know why I would ever doubt you. So I was... So this is the story. I, when I buy my bitters, I buy my Fee Brothers bitters from a company in Mass, in mm -hmm. Foxborough, and then they'll meet me. Where the me. Patriots play. Exactly. That's awesome. Right across the street. So nice. <laughs> they'll meet me halfway. So they, well, not halfway, more their way, because they're heading there anyway. So they drop off, usually Bloody Mary mixes at this place. Mm -hmm. And so I couldn't make it this week, so they just leave it with the with the liquor store, and I go in. Hey, look, Stop it! He, he always gets loud. I know. It's great. So I, I <laughs> went into the liquor store to pick up my stuff, because they left it there for me. And while I was there, sometimes I'll buy something while I'm there. Or I'll browse to see if there's stuff I haven't seen it elsewhere. And I saw Wiggle, and I was like, Wiggle, and they had Rye, and they had the regular, and I was like, dude, we sell their bitters, right? but I've never and been able to the get their company, product. Yeah. Right, so these are the products we sell. These are the Wigger, Rose, Wigger, Wiggle Rosemary Lavender, Wiggle Mole, and the Wiggle Aromatics. But I never get to try their products! Until now! Until right this minute! I think... I was actually I was just doing that for dramatic. I got a little bit of water in there too, to to really bring it out. Um, oh, look at the color! I like the color of this. But they had this is a you, it's you help getting that icon? No, there you go. It's a small cast a series, bits. Pennsylvania. That's where we get our bitter. So that's and there's a little story on the back about oh, like is. some you know whiskey rebellion. Nineteen seventeen nineties. Some guy getting hung. Hence, I don't know. Hence the, Hence the hanging. The, the oh, that's the whole point. I, I yeah, thought they were just morbid. News. So the guy. I, oh yeah, yeah There's a guy who, weird. whose namesake is Wiggle. It's and he just, was hung. And he was hung. So. So they made they made. So they made a noose to honor him. That's that's awesome. Interesting. So mm, if you want to scan mostly. the scan card on the back, I don't, I don't know if it will come through. But this is bad. It's time to focus. Age. I didn't. No. Aged in oak barrel you can just for Google 12 it, months. I guess. You can, you can Google it. Like, <laughs> There's always that. You know, yeah, I can. We live I can in a connected photo. society. That's true. Go connect yourself. It's funny that you can either Google it or you can scan the code that he put on the camera on a YouTube streaming show. I don't know where it goes. There's so many different things to do. I, but I don't know where that goes. It could go to okay. like something cool. Maybe it goes to our show because we're so awesome. But that would be pretty cool. <laughs> would be freaking awesome. <laughs> you should talk to him see if they can set that up. I know. You got pull with these people, don't you? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you get nice emails from vendors and stuff, and yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah, these that, guys that are new. Cool. Uh, that one. Oh, the one from Vive? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't want to get into it on another product down there. But oh, yeah. Product review, but yeah. That was kind of cool. Okay. Taste it. I'm going to put Taste it in my mouth. It's got like a really cool smell. There's like, it's kind of cloudy. Yeah, it is a little bit cloudy. There's like, um, like an ouzo effect almost with the water. There's like some sweetness in there. There's some. No, I, I was thinking more cloudy like a wheat beer. Oh. Uh, almost okay. like a. Oh, I knew there was water in there, so I didn't know if it was like. I a, don't know. I just. This stuff itself doesn't seem too. Oh, yeah, it is cloudy. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, a little bit cloudy. Okay. Batch six. Let's see. Which means if you're not trying batch six, it may be different. I don't know. You have to batch things for for alcohol laws for alcohol. Everything has to have a batch in certain states. Well, then you can control things. Well, if there's something bad about it, when you do a product recall, you can always recall right. the number. It's like lot, doing lots in manufacturing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the same. Thing. This smells really nice. It's very full and, and luxuriously awesome. Hey, why do we stop moving? Did we stop moving? Because we're, we're, we're jittery like that. Oh. Okay. Just thinking about it. We're good. It's a little smooth. You're getting some alcohol burn, which is there, but it's also really smooth. No, but my problem is I have, you have to get your mouth adapted to the alcohol. And you took a big sip. Like, I you did. always take a big sip. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, that was a big sip. Yeah. You think you'd learn. I know. <laughs> <laughs> every time. I, every, every, every single time, Every man. time. <laughs> well, I like to mouthwash it. And then I was... It, what is this? Anyway, what are we looking at? 42%, 84 proof? It's, it's not that much. It's not that hot. I mean, it's... 
it's 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 really smooth. Look, there's, there's people out there that are like, like I can't it. believe they're drinking straight whiskey. Like, there's people that have a hard time <laughs> with this in general, and yeah. I get comments every now and then. I can't believe you could just drink whiskey from a glass like that and you're not choking everywhere. It's a train. It's because we're thing. not like downing it. We're no, I know, but it. even this when you, when I started like six years ago, I was still like, how do people do this? It's like drinking wine. You eventually, if you keep doing yeah, it, you, you get better at it. It doesn't mean to, you're a good drinker. It means I you're better at whiskey sour. You're you're adapted to it. I've been like all about the whiskey sour Dude, since we did it on the show, the mm. the classic whiskey sour, whatever it was. I've been making like probably at least one a day. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I keep simple syrup in my fridge now just for whiskey sours. Well, uh, we made one the other day. Away, right? I'm hoping so. I I well, we're, I was testing my sour the my <laughs> one sour shrub. So I wanted to make it failure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should. No, one drink a day is actually good. Day. Oh, okay. Okay. One drink well, a day is. My doctor says it's good to kidding. have one that's drink a day. some days. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, I had one before I came over. Actually, I had a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go drink. I should okay, have a whiskey sour. You're gonna loosen up. <laughs> I've been doing this couple. I did it with the Irish whiskeys, Jameson, for a long time. Yeah. We were using Jameson for a long, a lot of things. But you know how it's not really oaky. Right. But now I got some Buffalo Trace. And yeah, I started making it with that. I'm like, oh, it's really good with the oak. And like, now oh, you got to move on to a rye. Now I got to move on to a rye. Because yeah. this doesn't have the oak. Yeah. It's got a. I don't know. It does have oak. It does. But it has. But... I'm having a hard time describing what the taste of the rye is. But. I know, right? There's I like wanna... a little bit of sweetness and there's like a dryness to it. Which I kind of imagine. It has a finish very similar. And this is going to sound bad, but it's not. It's just the way your taste profile works. Hmm. But it has a little bit of a cardboard like. Um, yeah, that's the dryness, I think. It, yeah, it tastes like cardboard smells in an enclosed space. You make it sound so appealing. I know, that's the problem. It's like, and then no. you read like people like, oh, this is like, this wine tastes like leather. Well, or like dried cured leather. And you're like, why would I ever want to drink leather? Because it's not really like that, but that's... But that's the, the closest approximation. Yeah, that's to where your brain you kind of yeah. goes... You know, what do I think it tastes like right now? Like, what is it right. that's coming to my brain? If you said pizza tastes like cardboard, that would be a bad thing. But if you say rye tastes like cardboard, that could be a good thing. Uh, like, pizza comes in cardboard. Cardboard, right. but some cardboard, if it smells like pizza, it's a good thing. Mm, you ever, like, take a cardboard eat, pizza box after it's been eaten? It pizza smells like cardboard. I'm not above that. It smells like <laughs> Domino's. I would put stranger things in my mouth. This is very unique. <laughs> in... We have mm. a PG audience today. Oh. <laughs> It has a unique flavor to it that's that's cool and, and inviting. It's something different than a lot of the, the rye. It's very distinct on its flavor profile, which mm. I think is really cool because you don't get this. It doesn't. It's not just oak. It no. doesn't taste like another product we've had. It's. It, I'm getting some sweetness from it. At least there is the definitely. Yep. There's a sweetness and, and like in the that. front yeah. and the dryness in the back. It's kind of like a wiggle mullet. It's got like the sweet in the front, dry in the back. <laughs> um. It does, it does definitely have a. Unique the dry is all over your tongue, though. Yeah. The cool thing about the dry, like right on the flat of your tongue, like, you, you've got some dryness that kind of spreads out, which is kind of. But like, make that neat with the whiskey sour, because then you get the acidity that would fall. Yeah, yeah. And then you just want to keep drinking. And then you have the additional sweetness. Plus, I'm going to use this on at least one cocktail this week, probably one this week and next week, because I have two a rye couple cocktails. Couple in the queue. I there, did search for rye in my mailbox. In my after we did the, after I, we were talking about the green. Mm, the green point. Point. Green Should point. I link the green point in this recipe? Yeah. That, I, I, so. I, I was talking to Derek earlier. I went out last night. I he had a, a Greenpoint cocktail, which is like a Manhattan. Greenpoint, I guess, is like a borough, uh, like a part of one of the Manhattan areas or Brooklyn areas or something. Right. And it's a Manhattan with yellow chartreuse in it. Yeah. And, and it I think was, we use green. Did we use green? I don't you know. might use green. I'm not sure. We uh, use chartreuse. Greenpoint, yeah. yeah. The, one, the one I had was with yellow, which is a little bit they probably uh, did that for less timid. potent. Yeah. And it was probably the smoothest Manhattan I'd ever had. And I really liked it. It was really good. So now I guess what he's going to be doing when he goes home, he's going to be getting himself some Manhattan Manhattans with Well, I got a girl, so I just need you some just need It's yeah. not cheap. And vermouth. That's not bad. It's yeah. the, I can get you vermouth, but the chartreuse <laughs> is going to be the tough part. That's all right. That's... <laughs> question of the like day. It. Question of the day! We, the day. we need one of those. Favorite beer to order at the bar? Shiner FM 966. <laughs> It's just a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> we need a review. I that. Do. Um, yeah, I tend to go with like a Guinness, just because it's like really? something. You, you know why? Because it's a no. It's, it's why? A low alcohol, low calorie beer. I can have a few of them. I like the flavor, and I'm not gonna pound it because it's heavier. Mm -hmm. Like if it's a light it's beer, heavy, I drink light. too much. But it's heavier on the stomach, but lighter on alcohol. It's like exactly. the it's a it's a session. It's a perfect of all worlds. Yeah. I wouldn't do that because Would somebody throw I don't an know ASL what? in the chat room. Minus the SL. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Just numbers are flying across the screen. Yeah, out of curiosity, how old is everyone? Oh. Oh. Um, how old are you? I think... Dirt? For, what are we talking about, how beer? How old are you, dirt? 
I am 38. <laughs> 38. Yeah. Um, how... Uh, what am, what am I drinking for beer when you, was it, when, when you order Gen when you go to a restaurant? Oh, we got 36, 37, 38. Oh, that's and weird. 12, 11. 12, 11. 11. I'm going to be turning 12. When? That's what everybody When's says until they're 21. When's your birthday? July 30th. July 30th? All right. Getting there. Um, everybody send your presents to uh, care of Derek Schumer. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still going to... You know what? I don't know. I remember your birthday. April 1st. Yeah. Why well, do you remember that? I remember it because you turned 21 on the 21st. Oh, yeah. And I, I just remember April just because it's, it, and it, you know how you have like some mental things like things yeah. just click in your mind yeah. like mm. your birthday is the same month as my sister's I remember that but you turn twenty one on the twenty first so that's my so mnemonic. Now all you need is the nineteen seventy six and you'd be all set. Yeah, I know. Now you can start using my credit card. Yeah. I don't think it works that way, but okay. <laughs> you just need the CCV number on the back. I have to figure out your driver's license number if I wanted to. This is yes. in New Hampshire yeah. anyway because yeah. they encode them with your your ah. name and your age. And well, that's birthday. pretty sad now. Yeah. Anyway, I still don't know what beer I'd want to drink. I, I don't even know that, remember that that was a question. I like I a Newcastle, too. There's a few go-tos. I mean, some of the bigger stuff. Turbo Dog, uh, a brown ale would be good to start. Uh, Guinness, mm -hmm. if I didn't know. You know what it would be? And I do this if I go to a bar that has good selection. Yeah. It's um, the Oak Cask beer from uh, that, the name of the French one. Uh, the French name. The Oak Barrel Cask Barrel Flavored Beer. I can't. Curio? Yeah. Like a Curio? Yeah, but it's Curio from a company. Allagash. Allagash! Okay. Allagash. Allagash Curio is very good. Yeah, Allagash did a, Curio. Uh, did a tasting. We went on a brew tour. Uh, With Allagash Curio? Back in the day. And uh, you, when you do the brew tour, you get a little flight at the end. Yeah. And Curio was one of them. They had, oh, really? They had Curio. They had like a bourbon. They had four like of their smaller brews. which How was the hell? Cool. How did he get that? Uh, it's a friendship, Curio. Mm -hmm. I, Whatever. I like my beers. Done. And I'm sorry I'm so damn philosophical sometimes. <laughs> I apologize to the crowd. He's very deep. I Stop got being at. so <laughs> philosophical since <laughs> Shane Dan. Giggle. Who? Dan. No. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I was scrolling. Anyway, <laughs> you, we don't need to know anything about the, the live chat that you could be watching on. Uh, yeah, no, I can't help but look at it. i yeah. got to know what's going on at all. So times. if you're subscribed on YouTube, we do our live streams typically on Friday nights at 630, but in the next few weeks, Saturday at 630, because I go skiing on Saturday or Friday and, night. And not next week, because... And not next week. Not no stream around. next week. We're preloading the videos. Uh, yeah, this can go out in the right time for that. So, yeah, there's no, no stream next week. And, and if you want, you can uh, uh, follow... Uh, I don't know. Comment and cocktails on Facebook? Can you? Yes. Facebook.com slash cocktail TV? Yes, and you'll get notifications as to when the live stream is starting and what. Everybody keeps asking, and I keep telling them, go on Facebook! So, so when there's a deviation from the schedule, like going from Fridays to Saturdays, like this week, Facebook. and not having it next week, Facebook. he'll let you know. Facebook. He's good about that. I'm pretty good. He's on top of this on stuff. Facebook. You have no idea. I know. I have no idea. These are Glenn Karn glasses. Glenn Karn glasses. Hey, it's, what's it say? Oh, it says Glenn Fittick. <laughs> <laughs> it says Glenn something. It says Glenn Fittick <laughs> during a wiggle review. Oh, it's a, a Glenn Karn glass. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> My hands up, which means we're done! <laughs> <laughs> we're teaching you how to drink! <laughs> Welcome to Common Man Talk Downs. I'm your host, Derek Schoenberg. I'll be Curtis with Melanie Curtis. It's the day after Christmas. It's time to drink. It is time to get your swing on. Want to swing it?